Hello guys, you're watching Google Professor. There is much more to vision than just looking at stuff. The gift of sight is a complex marvel of mysteries and incredible facts, from colors only certain people can see to color nobody can see, the remarkable adaptations of the deaf to the dreams of the colorblind. These are just some of the things that make the window of the soul worth gazing into. Blue Eye Chinese a Chinese boy with sky blue eyes can allegedly see in the right and pitch darkness. According to known Yoshi's teachers and the reporters who tested him, he can complete a questionnaire in the dark, and when examined by a flashlight, his eyes flare luminous green. At night, a cat's eyes reflect light in the same way. This made some believe that Nong was born with an incredible mutation, acute night vision never before seen in humans. Seeing stars whether you're seeing stars, flashes, or experiencing visual disturbances from migraines or a light show after rubbing the eyelids, it's all caused by the same thing – pressure or stimulation of the retina. The eyeball is filled with a thick gelatinous fluid that keeps the eye round. Sometimes this gel can press against the retina in its center, responsible for creating pictures in the brain. It can happen when the eyes are rubbed vigorously, a powerful sneeze shakes the retina or stimulates the optic nerve, or even when a person stands up too fast. The latter occurs when dropping blood pressure and the oxygen-deprived brain affects the side parts of the eye. Any message from the retina gets interpreted by the brain as light, whether there is actually light involved or not. The gender difference Men and women look at things differently. Together, both will see the same movie, but men will be more sensitive to smaller details and movement. Women will be more aware of different color hues and how they change. During a conversation, the sexes also focus differently. Men are more likely to watch the other person's lips while they're talking, and will be more easily distracted by movement behind the speaker. When women listen to someone talk, they tend to alternate their gaze between their companion's eyes and body. Other people, rather than movement, are more likely to divide their visual attention. The speed of color Never mind the secret life of bees, their eyesight is far more intriguing. The tiny insects can detect color three to four times faster than people do. At first glance it appears to be a wasted ability, because most objects carry a permanent hue and this type of vision also expends a lot of energy, yet bees have it. The little honeymakers have evolved their eyesight around finding flowers, which means being able to identify certain colors with accuracy. While petals and blooms don't exactly change their own shades every second, sometimes else can. Researchers think this skill helps bees when they're confronted with flickering light. A speedy flight through a bush cloud could cause colors to shift rapidly due to changing lights and shadows. In such a case, fast color vision will allow bees to track each abrupt change in shade. Why we see in 3D? Three-dimensional vision helps with depth perception. Each eye views an object from a slightly different angle. Called binocular disparity, it helps the brain to gauge depth. It's vital, but not the only way to view the world in 3D. The parallax phenomenon is the difference in speed at which things move as you pass them. It's most notable when driving. Nearby trees will shoot past, while a radio tower in the distance moves at a snail's pace. Other ways to calculate an object's range include their size, being able to see more detail in closer objects, parallel lines that appear to converge, and the way items stand in relation to each other. The Grey Rail Researchers have possibly uncovered why the world appears grey to depression sufferers. A study involving patients with major depression found that, compared to healthy individuals, their retinas were less responsive in a dramatic way to especially black and white contrasts. This was true even for the participants who were taking antidepressants. Researchers believe the link between depression and vision could be the substance dopamine. Healthy conscious vision depends on certain cells with the retina. Called amacrine cells, they connect the brain cells in the retina with each other. Pulling double duty, dopamine is needed for the cells to work properly, as well as making a person feel driven and focused. When the chemical is lacking, it can cause cheerlessness and possibly blunt the effectiveness of the amacrine cells. This could be why everything looks like an old photograph to sufferers during times of depression. Dreamscape of the colorblind Individuals with colorblindness can dream in color. Just how much depends on when the person turned colorblind. When somebody is born seeing the world in shades of black, white and grey, that will be the environment of their dreamscape. Should they become colorblind later, their colorful past can spill over into dreams. Anyone with other forms of colorblindness, such as the common inability to distinguish between reds and greens, will dream in their own range of the rainbow. For instance, they will dream of green Santa Claus instead of a red one, because it's also their waking reality. It is also extremely uncommon for those with normal vision to dream in black and white. Difficulty remembering colorful dreams could be because during sleep, the dreamer is more occupied with doing something or reaching a destination than focusing on their dreamscape's hues. The Rainbow Women Some women can see more color than the rest of the population. Not just an extra shade here or there, but in Technicolor most of us can't even comprehend. Called tetrachromats, they see vivid colors where others merely perceive monotone shades. It's a literal rainbow world, and it seems to be an exclusive female one. 
Everyone has three kinds of cone cells in their eyes and each reads a different light bandwidth. They combine frequencies to recognize individual colors. An extra cone adds hundreds of combinations and a huge extra set of colors. It's estimated that about 12% of women might have an extra cone, but not all of them are tetrachromats. The true ones are rare and they don't always have it easy. Because this genetic condition remains widely unknown, they are seldom believed whenever they attempt to share their magical sight. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and press the subscribe button. See you soon! Bye!